Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. <laughs> Let's hurst her raven. What horrors await us? Hi, Locke! And apparently Locke is supposed to go to bed, but she didn't. So there you go. Good to know, Locke. <laughs> we are gonna play. We are gonna play Mystery Case Files, Ravenhurst, which is the third Mystery Case Files. And I don't remember where we left off, but bad things are happening. And the girl is like slowly dying and the guy is being all mysterious and maybe like summoning bad evil spirits or something. We weren't really sure. So let's see where we left off. It helps if I actually click on the right window. There we go. Oh, here we go. I don't remember if we read this last time, but we'll read it this time. Entry 13, July 13th, 1895. Feverish dream. I cannot sleep. Each time I do, something wakes me and I feel chilled. This night, it was a terrible dream. A nightmare that was seemingly quite real, which made my blood pump so that I could not rest. She didn't get me. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That's what this is. I was here in this room, sitting in my wheelchair. I looked down to see myself wearing a gown of white, beautifully made of lace and satin. It took me a moment to recognize it as a wedding dress. I felt a paralysis throughout my body as I sat, frozen in this gown. My soaring temperature is causing many such frightening nightmares. Also, I am quite concerned that I have yet to receive further communication from home. My father's health weighs greatly on my mind. Yeah, we think that uh, the guy who likes her totally used black magic to paralyze her and then married her, which is all kinds of messed up. Yep, okay. And said guy created this whole, like, gigantic, ridiculous house that we are now searching through. No, you don't, but he was using it because the chapter before said he was getting into black magic. That's probably what he started with. Also, you didn't see most of this, so, or anyone else who didn't see most of this. This guy, like, fell in love with her, asked her to marry him, and she declined. And he built this really weird house, and then she started getting sick. And he let her stay in his house out of the goodness of his heart. Apparently it wasn't goodness. But the important thing is that this is all taking place in the past, and we're find, finding diary entries. So we're in the present looking through this creepy house that he made all that time ago. <laughs> but he's evil, we don't like him. Okay. Uh, we have another, this is, this screen is not quite as tiny as the last two. This is probably a quarter of my screen instead of a fifth of my screen, but it does make things hard to see. All right, so we need a shark, a horseshoe. There's a frog in a hat, I love him. Peapod. That's not a bazooka. That's a machine gun. There's a bazooka here too. Okay. From oh, there's a shark. Why does this dude have a bazooka and a machine gun? He has lots of weapons in this house, actually. Also, why can't I see it? Bazookas. Bazookas are big. All right. Well, at any rate, a dead carp. Oh, look at that. The lion I totally saw. Yes, um, yes he does. That's a lion, isn't it? Kinda looks like a lion. Again, my screen is really small. Oh, there it is. And a pretzel. And a shell. I do not see a bazooka. I, I'm calling foul on that, but let's go to the next spot. The parlor. Yeah, he collect- that was one of the other things that was going on is he was collecting all kinds of weird stuff. I clicked on it though and it, it wasn't- it didn't- wasn't uh, coming up as that. <laughs> He's a hoarder. What do you want? I, I- I know lots of hoarders. Kinda. Or at least a bunch of people who used to be hoarders. An organized hoarder. That would be better. Though he would still have too much stuff. Telephone. There's another frog. I think that's the same frog, just not without the hat. Uh, I saw the telephone. There it is. We don't know that, do we? We just know that he hoards one lady. You can't have a hoard if it's just one thing. 
It's a collection if it's two things. I think it has to be more than two things to be a horde. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Wait, I saw the dragon too. Is that the dragon? Yes. There's a cinnamon bun. That would be awesome. I don't oh, there's a party hat. All right. Why did it? I still have other things to see on this floor. It's weird how it keeps changing where I am. Ooh, a barbecue wing. Oh, that sounds good. A thermometer. Oh, that's, there we go. Tulips. A wallet. He's not alive anymore. This is this happened like in the 1800s. So it wasn't quite this gross back then, but it was probably just as full. Umbrella. I just saw the umbrella. Dang it. A hamburger. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get better. So you're, you're not going to enjoy uh, the, there it is, the uh, decorating, I guess. That's not a wallet. A wallet and a watering can. Did I see a watering can? I don't think I saw a wallet. There's a kitty in this room. It goes meow. There's a watering can. Well, I mean, I have to do it eventually. How many more? I've only got two more and then I'll do the locked door. The locked doors in this are the best part. I just saw the funnel. Like, I was staring at it. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, a chalkboard. That's a thing that there aren't a lot of anymore. <laughs> to be fair, like I said, he is dead. Like, a hundred years dead. So, that that's, like, part of the issue. Um, no excuses. <laughs> It is pretty impressive how much stuff he's got in these places, though. Straight razor. I just saw that, too. No, it's a knife. Didn't I just see that? Maybe not. An accordion. That's there. Yep, sorry. Sorry. I know I'm supposed to stick to the top of the list. Oh, there's a straight razor. I knew I saw it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Aunt and me tend to find the exact same thing the exact same time or her a little earlier but she has a delay and I don't so she always says it after I pick it up which I think is funny and she doesn't <laughs> raspberries raspberries are delicious where is I need a domino or a funnel I know I saw the funnel this is very irritating yeah 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 we get it at the exact same time a lot of times it's just ironic that there's a list of like six or eight things and we find them the same object at the same time when we're not trying to do that. There's a funnel. I knew I was looking at it. Stupid thing. All right, let's see. The library. We need a bug and a sea star, which is a starfish. There it is. And a turtle, which I remember seeing in this room before. <laughs> yeah, as I said, you're you're not gonna like this uh, decorating style. <laughs> I assume we're climbing over stuff, or we're just looking into the room, one or the other. You know, like we're not actually going in the rooms. Yeah, I maybe they're all open already. There might not be that. Oh, wait, no, there are doors because they have locks on them. We have to uh, open most of them or at least half of them. What am I looking for? I got distracted. A bug, a microscope, a turkey, a pistol, and bull horns. Doors are not canon lies. <laughs> well, stop. Yes, doors with weird locks. That's where we're going next. Here's a bird. That's a robin, though, not a turkey. What am I looking for? Oh, there's a turkey. A bug and a pistol and bullhorns. Did I see the pistol? Pistol under the window. Yes, I did see the pistol. See, that time you found one that I wasn't looking for exactly. I know I found the bug in here. Ah, now Locke's going to do it, too. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the... So this is what happens, is you find a door. 
Sorry. <laughs> so here's the door to the cellar. Now, what you see is what you get. This is a WYSIWYG game. They give you no instruction as to what you're supposed to do. Now, it looks like I need three batteries, four batteries, five batteries, five batteries. Yeah, I know that is definitely true. Okay, that's reset. All right, that's an antenna. Okay. Not crazy. Liar. All on. Oh, okay, so I have to turn on all the lights. Reset, because I think that was the wrong move. Okay. So now this thing is on. Oh, and it gave me a battery. Oh, I have to play this stupid turn all the lights game on a bunch of times, and it's going to keep giving me batteries. If that's the only gimmick, this is not as hard as some of the other doors. She says optimistically. Uh... Oh no, I need one more. I was going to say, is that all of them? But nope. Okay, that's all the batteries. It's some of them I said are, are more in intricate than this. Let's see. Wait. Is there something else I have to do here? Okay, I think that's the... <laughs> it's Pong! Wait. Oh. I have to play Pong. Um, let me win. Ah! I told you they were weird locks. Lock. <laughs> ah, no! I let go of the thing! Dang, nab it! What was that? Oh, she said find my pages. I've actually heard that before. How is this computer so good at... I don't think this is working the same way regular Pong does. I can't read your messages right now. I'm concentrating. Bring me... No, I think it's my pages, but I actually don't know. <laughs> no, not... No, 1885. <laughs> Wait, what is this now? Ah, wait, what? Can I go up and down or just side to side? Whoa! This is a lot harder than it looks. Ah! Ah! Oh, I thought that was messing me up on purpose and I was going to be really angry. Dang it! Wait, what am I supposed to get? The hearts? And not the coins? No. The coins and not the hearts. That's counterintuitive. Yay! I got a picture of a key. Um, how do I get it? Oh, okay. I just had to open the doorknob. Yeah, so that's uh that's this game. It's all um find it puzzles and then weird locks in between them. We're probably almost done. Yeah, I think so too. Things actually look like they've been put here on purpose. Maybe it was because it was a hard room to get into. I am kind of anno not annoyed by um, unhappy with the amount of food in these rooms, though, because they would be really gross at this point, unless people have been, like, breaking in here and adding stuff to the pile, which I guess could be a thing. There's a cupcake. Where's a hamburger? Ooh, there's a pop. I love those. And a penguin. Okay, we can go to the next room. 
the rats be living high, yeah. We have everybody already? Oh, okay. Wait, where's the first- where, were we in the basement the first time? In the pantry, right? Where's this stupid bazooka? Oh, that's annoying! The little army dude is holding a bazooka. Cheesy. No wonder I couldn't find it. Hmm. Alright, what about dominoes? Dominoes. I do not see any dominoes. Oh, wow. I thought those were dice, actually. Those are really tiny. If they had been full screen, I probably would have seen it. Okay, so now we found another page of the diary. And we have to put the, um, the page together so that we can read it. Oh, that's right. And now that I'm thinking about it, there is a maid. She just must not be cleaning anything. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Like, I'm kind of not paying attention now. <laughs> oh. Oh, it goes like that. Duh. Yeah, she's not looking very with it, is she? Definitely think something is up with that. Oh, and she's in England right now because she was working as a, um, a teacher or something like that. And she got a notice that her dad was dying, a letter that her dad was dying. So she was going to go home and that's when she started getting sick. And I think maybe dude poisoned her. Excellent work. Here we go. Entry 14, July 14th, 1895. Welcome company. Today brought the arrival of a nurse named Rose Somerset. Charles insists on using the old term matron, but I've prefer to think that she is more of a maid who will be checking on my health in addition to keeping up the house. Poorly. Regardless of the titular formalities, I'm very pleased and excited for Rose's company. Charles is still very distracted, although I have not I have not idea as to what he does with his time these days. But now I can spend time with this kind woman. She might just bring a bit of light into my life, which has been lacking as my health dwindled. My affliction has made it difficult to move about, so I am now confined to do so with the help of a wheelchair. All right, back to the surveillance room. We've uh, we've seen most of these rooms already, and none of them are real great. <laughs> Let's see, the peanut. And this technology is definitely not 1800s. So I guess that someone came in later and, oh, this room has that stupid sound effect. Um, came in later and like added stuff to it. Not entirely sure why though. Get stronger. That I don't get. Wait, I was in the basement. And now I want to go on the grounds. Treehouse! This is a treehouse, apparently. I don't know why he built a treehouse if they don't have any kids, but... Or if he doesn't have any kids, this is his house. Though technically I guess it's hers too if uh, they're married now. A shell, is that a mitt? No, like a different kind of mitt. Butterfly. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a pipe, a shell, a mitt, and a razor. He doesn't have any children. How can he have grandchildren? She did like him, by the way, originally, but she decided that she wanted to be like her own woman and she was too young to get married and that made him upset. Why am I not finding anything? Moose upper right. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know. Why is there a lady peeking in the roof, but she has no body? That's creepiest. Yes, yes. Okay, you did mention that. Good. Okay, pipe shell mitt. Why am I not seeing any of this? Because I'm not looking in the right place. And earmuffs. 
Real is next to the ceiling fan. Where's the ceiling fan? It's not on the ceiling. I have a confuse. Oh. Ceiling face, face, face. Right. Sorry. I can read, mostly. I'm totally not dyslexic or anything. Pipe shell mitt razor. Nope, that's not a shell. That's an orange. Pipe at the bottom. Oh, you're right, a corn cob pipe. I will not start singing Frosty the Snowman. Mitt center top. Oh, wow, I looked at that like three times. This particular level is not my friend for some reason. Shell or razor? I remember finding the razor in here before. Yes, thank you. Without you, I would be here longer. Probably. There's a hot dog. And a hatchet. Oh, there's a shell. I found it. Moving on. Why does it keep taking me to... Oh, this level. This is the backyard. There's lots of animals. All right, let's see. Oh, absolutely. It It's really old. It's like from 2009. So it's it's like... It's a bunny, there's a crow, there's a giraffe, there's fish and an alligator. I need a scalpel and what else? Oh, I know where the tricycle is. It's right there. And a box knife, which is not the same as a scalpel. An acorn. And a file and a bullet. Oh, I know where the can opener is. There we go. Well, this is taking place in England, so it's a little weird that there's an alligator here. There's a snake. All right, wire cutter, scalpel, acorn. There's a pineapple. There's the bullet. Handcuffs. I, I didn't figure. It seemed unlikely. Those are bolt cutters, not wire cutters. Thank you. <laughs> acorn, there's the file right next to it. Scalpel and an acorn. These games get a lot more interesting once acorn is on the barrel at the bottom. Oh, wow, you're right. I missed that completely. They get a lot more interesting once there's not so much stuff. But I think the newer games are less interesting. They don't have quite as complicated plots. And a lot of times you think the plots in these games make little sense. They make even less sense in uh, the newer games. Wait till you see... Oh, absolutely ridiculous, insane plots. Like, like, magnitudes higher than this. Haunted Hotel series is one of the good ones, yes. <laughs> oh, they're super popular, because it's fun. And like I said, the newer games have a lot more, I don't know, they're faster, I think, is the, is the good way to put it. What am I looking for? Oh, I saw the hand drill. Where's the hand drill? There it is. I saw and tape. Tape, a tape, a tape, a tape. Oh, they make all the money. The cool thing is you can play them all, the demos, for free for like an hour-ish. And then you can decide to buy them or not. I really hate that it is taking me where I don't want to go. Not all the money, just a lot of money. Ooh, this one will be good for you, Locke. Look at all the spider webs. Because no one's ever dusted this room ever. Matter of fact, this looks like definitely the dustiest room. <laughs> Two fish scales. That's interesting. Shaker bones. <laughs> wakey, wakey. A diva? Oh. All right, two snakes. There's one snake and two snakes. A noose. There are a lot of nooses in this house, too, which is disconcerting. Let's see, what else? Fountain pen, telescope, three garden tools. I know I saw at least one. There we go. There's an egg. I don't need an egg. Okay, what am I looking for? A safety pin. Telescope on the door to the left. Oh, that's a door. I didn't even notice that. I just thought that was a continuation of the wall. There we go. 
two fish scales. What is that supposed to mean? Like this? No, that's a real scale. Doors are lies. So you've said. How do you have fish scales without fish? I mean, I understand the concept. I just don't know what it would look like in the game. <laughs> I mean, that's not the most wrong thing I've heard. Bottom, middle are the fish scales. Oh, wow, you're right. Okay. I was... It says two, though. So there must be another one somewhere. Now that I know what I'm looking for. Where did you get snacks? I have the snacks. What kind of snack would you like? Well, you can have your Whoppers, or you can have a cookie. Whoppers. Whoppers. Okay, don't eat all of them. That's a lot. Who's there? Eat half. <sighs> knock, knock. Who's there? Spell. Spell who? W H O. Ha 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 ha. Get out of here. door. <sighs> it's not a stream if I'm not interrupted, and then we have a knock knock joke. Right, so where was I? I forget. Sometimes I think that maybe putting the sign on my door that says I'm streaming actually attracts people to my office, but I haven't been able to prove that yet. How is that not a garden tool? It's not though. And a safety pin. I don't think I've seen a safety pin either. There's a tool tool, an anvil, the garden fork at the top. How come that is and this isn't? That's so dumb. All right, so we need a safety pin or more scales. I like Whoppers, but not very much. Like I'll have a few of them, but uh, at, at the moment I can't really eat hard candies like that that have a little bit because I, I sort of lost one of my crowns this evening. Like, I didn't lose it. I Well, it's the crown or a safety pin. <laughs> the crown is the part of your tooth that is pretend to go over the tooth that... What? Oh, you're talking about whoppers. I'm far behind the conversation, apparently. Anyways, I lost my crown. I still have it, but it's no longer in my mouth. So now I have to go to the dentist. Why can't I find anything? Does anybody see anything where that... Oh, that's it. I see it. I thought that was a window. The game room. All right, let's see. A gold watch. Two necklaces. Oh, neckties. Why can't I read tonight? A candle. Candle. A dagger. Acorns are on the side. Yes, they are. Uh, let's see. A maple leaf. I thought I just saw the maple leaf. I might be making that up, though. What is that supposed to be? Is that like an otter? That's creepy. I don't like that. Uh, sunglasses and a comb. A moon. Oh! Okay, I thought this was the head, and those were the eyes, and that was the nose, and that's the mouth. Do you see, like, the creepy face now? Yeah! There's a seashell. I need that in one of the other rooms. Let's see, gold watch and another necktie. I have a really hard time finding ties, and I don't know why. Sunglasses. <laughs> You're a moose, son. Moose are so big. They're like giant. Maple leaf. I did see the maple leaf. Good. I wasn't making that up. Oh, and a comb. I didn't look for a comb. No, it's so big. It's bigger than my husband, who is 6'4". He, he's, the, the moose is a giant. Is that a dagger? That is not a dagger. That is definitely a sword. How come I can't find the gold watch? You'd think since it was a color, it would be easy to find. There it is, right in front of me. Good job, me. All right. Yes, it basically is. All right, one necktie or a comb. One necktie. I don't know why I can't find ties. It's very strange. Doo -doo -doo. There's a dude's head under there. That's different. Okay, why can't I find it? Dagnab it. Oh, there's a comb. I should have seen that. 
Sheesh. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Let's go back here. Get stronger. What does that mean? Oh, it's barbells. That's stupid. Not helpful game. Tape. I know I saw tape in this one in one of the other times we were here. There it is. And one more thing. A scalpel. No, that one's going to be hard. Let's try the treehouse. The razor shouldn't be that hard to find. Oh, that is not the type of razor I was looking for. Thank you. Uh-oh. What is all this? Oh, right. So she, the maid found the wedding gown. Uh-oh. The jig is up. I'm betting Mr. Man is not going to be real happy about this. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. I mean, it was relatively obvious that he was up to no good, but... <laughs> yeah, right, definitely. <laughs> now what are they gonna do? Oops. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? What am I doing? There we go. My mind is wandering. <laughs> All right. Entry 15. August 2nd, 1895. The dress. Rose has been an amazing blessing, and for all the care she has given me, I am most thankful for the much-needed companionship. She, too, has noticed the odd behavior that Charles has been exhibiting. This afternoon, Rose posed a rather unexpected question by asking if Charles had ever previously wed. I explained he had not and made it clear his intentions towards me. Curiously, I questioned why she should ask, and she recounted coming across a wedding gown while cleaning the wardrobe upstairs. She brought me the gown, and I felt my heart arrest when I laid eyes upon it. She displayed the very same dress for my nightmare some days ago. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, that's that. We don't want to do that yet. So basically, dude pretended to marry or ah, uh, married her. But yeah, no, this guy doesn't get rid of anything, even if it's like damning evidence against uh, misdeeds. All right, let's see. Pineapple string, candle snuffer. I saw the skateboard in here before. I don't remember where. Fire alarm. I know it. Oh, there's the conch shell. And a masquerade mask, which I totally also saw. But now I don't. Okay. So we need a feather, a skateboard, and a mask. Feather, a skateboard. There's a kitty. It's hiding in the back. Feather, a oh, there's a skateboard. So we need a feather or a mask. There's a chicken. Chickens have feathers. The kitty cat is angry. Why don't I see the mask? Feather on the red curtain. Ah, you're right. I re remember finding that. Oh, is that the mask? There it is. Okay. Cool. First floor is done. Third floor. Master bedroom. Have we been in this room before? This doesn't look familiar. Maybe, though. All right, let's see. A scroll. A brain. That's... Not disconcerting or anything. A bowling pin. Oh, there's a scroll. Yep, there's lots of bagels in this too. By the dog. There's a cat. Where's a the dog? There's a bagel. Oh, there's a the puppy. I didn't see the puppy. Green bottle. Brain, bowling pin, and a tally. No. Oh. There you go. And a wood plane, as opposed to a wooden plane, which is a different thing. And a soccer ball, which you'd think would stand out because it's soccer ball colored. Unless it isn't. Ah, there it is. Okay. 
brain bowling pin and a wood plane on top of the bed. Yep, I got it. Thank you. I don't know what that is. Football. Sorry, Locke. I mean, we're American, if that makes you feel any better. We were originally solving things in America, and then the Queen of England told us to find out what happened to this lady from the 1800s. <laughs> Stop triggering Locke. Oh my gosh. I have had the argument that there are cookies and biscuits in England, but they are completely different things. So. See? See? You you mean wellies is what uh, Erdite is going on about. This is a very weird bathroom. We have been in here before, though I recognize this. Oh boy, here we go. They're all going to be weird in the comments again. What am I doing? Uh, spade and axe. I just saw the axe. A soap dish you'd think would be over here. Nope, it's not there. Baseball. That looks like a coconut. Is that a baseball? Yes. Safari hat. Ah, there we go. An anchor and a sword. I saw the sword. <sighs> ah, see? That one's not universal. Which I said. He doesn't believe me. What am I looking for? I am looking for a spade, an anchor, a sword, and a pipe wrench. A spade, an anchor. There's the sword. I knew I saw it. This house is ours. That's creepy. He insists it's scones, and I insist that sometimes it's scones, and he doesn't believe me. It's a kitty cat. Oh, there's the anchor right in the middle of the floor. I hope stuff in the middle of the floor, like, does not register in my brain. Okay, spade and a pipe wrench. You'd think the pipe wrench would be easy to find. It is. It's right in the middle of the floor. What is wrong with my brain? All right, do, oh, what are we going to do the tower? I want a house with a tower. That sounds really cool. All right, let's see. Belt. Is that belt? No, those are books. With a belt around it, but that's different. <laughs> oh, I imagine they're extremely cold and damp. Footprint. Footprint? There's a whale. As was his right. <laughs> Five and three? Which would be eight, I guess. I know. Oh, I do need a whale. I knew that. And a palette knife. The eight is on the clock. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, it is. I was looking at the actual numbers, and the eight would be right there. And I was confused. Right, so now we need a palette knife or a belt. You can tell when these games were made in Europe and translated okay, but not great. Because uh, they often do really weird per, uh, words for what you would think would be correct. So here's the next one. Now, I guess she loves me XOXOX. Oh, a barfly. Whoa, I clicked off the page. Lots of froggy. Another butterfly. I probably need those butterflies. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't need that. Can't click on that one. Alright, so... Oh, okay, I just have to put them in order. That's fine. So this is one. This is two. This is three. It's a polywogs. This is four. This is five. This is six. This is seven. And this is eight. Now I have a piece of tape. Why do I need a piece of tape for? Oh, I need to t wait, I need a piece of hose there probably too, don't I? Oh, no, okay. 
That's fine then. So now the water's on. Oh, I guess I have to guess what... Weird. Now this needs to be one, this needs to be two, and this needs to be three. Huh. This is weird. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we got it. Very weird. There's that one. And then I need to do this one. What are you guys going on about them? Why Why is it bad to like frog, frog legs as food? I mean, you're having frog legs, but I'm still confused. Ha, I said it first. Okay. How come this thing never goes in the direction I want it to go in? Frog legs are French and this thus completely evil. I mean, wait, no, I want water. And then plant food, right? Okay. Ta-da! I did it! There's lots of French things that are delicious. Yes. This is a bad garden. <laughs> now we're going to trigger Ott. <laughs> Tall ship. Yeah, there's lots of things. There's a scorpion. There's a... I think that's a grasshopper. I can't tell. The screen is so small. More skeletons. A pineapple somewhere. Oh, nope. That's an art joke. Where'd the pine there's a lettuce. What else? Oh, there's a pineapple. Scream. Pineapple race. Yeah, thank you. And a boa. That's a lay, not a boa. Oh, there's one of those giant uh, stinking flowers that bloom like every seven years. You see big fish? Where? Oh, there he is. Silly fishy. That's a tall ship. It's in a bottle. Psh, lame. There's another one. All right, let's see. I need an axe, a scream, and a boa. There's a Venus flytrap. I guess that's not a scream, though. It looks yummy. <laughs> You're gonna scream for me, huh? You guys are goofy. What am I looking for? An axe, a scream, and a boa. Some stuff in here. I really have no idea what it is. Where's the microphone for this game? No, the uh, microphone for this game is on my side of the screen because I know that everything would just erupt into nonsense if everybody got to talk on here. Because it already erupts into nonsense and I'm the only one talking. So there's the axe. A scream and a boa. Oh, there's a scream. Try and stop you. <laughs> well, I I will. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Oh, stupid thing. On the right side, where? Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's not a boa. I think they mean like a feather boa. But I might be making. Here, let's find out. Yep, I was right. Feather boa. Okay, uh, let's go back over here. A spade. Like the card suit or the shoveling device? There's a boa. No, that's a rattlesnake. Above the glove. Globe. Above the globe. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> Um, it got worse. Oh dear. This, uh, this looks suspicious. <laughs> I forget what her name is. But, yeah. Um, not good. And we have Kid 3 back again. What do you want, bud? Oh, okay. You, you could have left him out there, but that was good. Yeah. This is unsettling. He is a good kiddo. He is just very loud. And stubborn. 
I could do without the stubborn too, but that's my own fault for like having children. They weren't not going to be stubborn. <laughs> yes, that was funny. Do you know? Kiss, kiss, kiss. All right, we have to see how bad this is. Entry 16, August 3rd, 1895. Hidden correspondence. Oh boy, it got even worse, worse. Fever weakens me such that I have difficulty focusing my vision. My hands have begun to convulse and I have great difficulty holding, let alone updating this very journal. Rose often records my thoughts as I dictate. After discovering the dress and Rose's increasing anxiety towards Charles, we have agreed to hide my diary. I fear this anxiety may be quite well-founded, however, with our newest finding. Charles has secretly adorned an upstairs bedroom with the trappings of a nursery, including a crib. Upon inspection, the crib contained unopened correspondence from my family in the United States. I'm scared for my very life. Yeah, that's bad. That's definitely not good. Yes, he does. Also, we're back to the tram in the garage of the house for some reason. Haven't quite figured that one out. It's a very weird house. Which was also part of the lead up to this. Yeah, like, it. that is definitely like a monorail, or not monorail. Um, I've forgotten the word. It's one of these things, and I don't know why. <laughs> I can't imagine where it's going. Don't jump. Yeah. This is snake. Let's see. Mitten ball. Celery. You see a sundae? Yum. I didn't eat dinner yet, but I had a bunch of snackages, so I was not actually hungry at dinner time. That's a thing that happens in these games, because there's often a lot of hidden food, which is like good i guess but it, it is very hungry making all right let's see what else i want to stay over here all right then we go to the first floor entry ah uh, this is the first room we were in a pizza slicer and a remote control on the moat an abacus <laughs> Play card. Yeah, this is the entryway, so you kind of get a feel for how things are going to go from here. <laughs> um, a bugle. I always think that says buggle, but that is not what that says. A shovel. Let's see, and a bamboo steamer. That I saw. There it is. That is a bamboo steamer. Don't you backsass me, game. Alright, a paintbrush and a shovel. Paintbrush and a shovel. There's a bunny. Bunnies are cute. Paint oh, there's a paintbrush. Okay. Alright, let's go in the basement. Yeah, this is definitely one of the neater rooms in the house. We were not wrong. Oh, I can go back. Where'd you see the shovel? Shovel, shovel, shovel. Bottom. Left. But oh, I was looking for like, like a, like a big shovel. That's like a sand shovel. Okay. Thank you. Back to the basement. A feather duster and a maple leaf, which is giant. And a butterfly. That's a moth. And a baseball glove. And there's a mouse somewhere. It's a penguin. He's so cute. And a microscope. And oh, I know where the cupcake is. There it is. Well, moths are cool too. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank you. Mouse and a microscope. I like moths. Moths are cool. There's the microscope. Where's the mousey? No, there's a tarantula. That's not a mouse at all. And a scorpion. Both definitely not mouses. All right, moving on. Guest bathroom. Oh yeah, this was one of the worst rooms, actually. Have I did that? My phone just badoomp. 
Mouse upper right corner. I don't need a mouse in this one. Charles. <laughs> I'm really sorry you can't yell at this dude. Yeah, right? I agree with that completely. Fossil. That's not fossilized yet. Oh yeah, no, this one is way worse. This is one of the worst rooms. Uh, bell and handcuffs. I remember seeing all of this stuff last time we were here, and now I can't find any of it. And a red pepper, which is right there, and a praying mantis, which is right there. Fossil is in the bucket. Yes, it is! It's a trilobite. It is! And a camera... And a barbell... <laughs> I have no idea. Look at this weird fish in the front here. He's weird. And a bell. I keep thinking that's a bell, but that's an oil can. It, yeah, oh, there is a catfish. You're right. I knew I knew what that was. No, no. This is mystery case files. Sorry. This is, this came out first and then mystery trackers came out. Suspiciously very similar to the original. But it was definitely its own thing and not copying off of this. All right. Where's the barbell and a regular bell and handcuffs huh <laughs> pretty much both of them have been going on forever i think mystery trackers has like 20 episodes or something and i know that um mystery case files has a billion games too they put out like one or two a year depending on the year barbell on the tub really where above the oh wow you're right All right, we finish on the second floor. Yes, now we do the third floor. I am going in order. Master bedroom. All right, let's see. We need another moth, an axe, and a ski, and a sharpener. And that's a feather, and a fishing lure, and a seahorse, which I totally saw last time was here. Dang it, and a harp. And two fish. Alright, so a moth, an axe, and a lure. Mm, oh, there's a moth. And there's the axe. Fish is on the luggage. Is this the luggage? Oh, gotcha. A lure and a seahorse. I know I saw the seahorse last time I was in this room. There he is. I knew I saw him. Okay, so a lure or a fish. There's a fish eating the bowl. And a wardrobe. Oh dear. This is, you couldn't even walk in this room. There's literally no floor space. Wow. This is, uh, very tight. Okay. Huh. Those are darts, not arrows. Oh, there's arrows. Baby shoes for sale. <laughs> Let's see. A muffin. Muffin. Yes. Steering wheel. No, that's part of a telescope. There's a steering wheel. <laughs> a metronome. Mortar and pestle. Wow, all the stuff is like right in the front. A lantern. Said shoes are by the bowling pin. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so an inkwell and a lantern. Is that the lantern? Yes. Do we see the inkwell anywhere? I do not see where. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Got it. Thank you. All right. So back to the guest bathroom. Where are the handcuffs? Hint. Oh, wow. I probably should have seen that. Uh oh. Is that the butler? Was there a butler? I don't think there was a butler. I think this is just the dude. This is Charles. And Rose looks very unhappy. Yeah, no, I, I, I see that. That's definitely uh, bad. He does look unhinged. Well, either her or the other girl, who for some reason I can't remember the name of. Yeah, I think so. 
Hey, Erday, look up what the main girl's name is because you already saw this and it's, there won't be spoilers. Because I completely forget what her name is. No, no, Rose is the maid. Who's the main girl? I forget. No, it's not also Rose. No. <laughs> that is incorrect. Yeah, dude is... All boys are Charles. Dude is, uh, got a case of the crazies. Alright, here we go. Entry 17, August 4th, 1895. Poison? Question mark? I'm not sure what is happening. It takes all of my energy to sit and write here. Rose claims I have been falling into and out of consciousness at the most odd times. Emma, thank you. I have yet to feel any better, and now we know why. Rose was tidying the house, and she saw Charles in the kitchen. He had just finished preparing my dinner, all he does anymore after spending his time affixing random items to doors inside the house. She swears she saw a bottle in his pocket labeled, labeled phosphorus white. At first, she thought it was part of his usual contraptions, but we have since found it to be a key ingredient in poison. Is Charles trying to poison me? Um, succeeding at poisoning you, but yeah. Definitely succeeding in poisoning you. All right, let's see. Binoculars and a pulley and a purple heart and a scorpion. There are lots of scorpions and really big spiders in this house too. And I didn't think scorpions lived in England, so I'm a bit confused by that. Unless the guy like imported scorpions and just let them run around his house, which I am not okay with. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. They're very illegal. Really? That's pretty funny. What if they do what? Oh, what if they do exist? That's a pick. Thank you. <laughs> Don't freak lock out. They freeze to death. Yes, they would, because it is not warm there most of the year. What am I looking for? Binoculars and arrowhead. I thought I saw the arrowhead. I seem to remember there being binoculars, but I don't remember seeing them. Oh, wait, is that them? No, those are salt and pepper shakers. Invisible house scorpions. <laughs> yeah, we got mosquitoes too. They kind of are irritating on every continent. Why can't I find what I'm looking for? Where is it? I'm just gonna go to the next one. Do not invite the rest of Australia into my home. Yeah, I'll agree with that. The parlor. We were here already. A baguette. I haven't had a baguette in a long time. Is delicious bread. Big frog. I know, isn't he cute? And let's see, a bone. And a stapler and a squash. Is that a stapler? Yes. And a squash. And a duck, which is up here flying on the ceiling. Dentures. Yeah, there's a lot of dentures in this house too, which is weird. Lantern. Corkscrew with a cork in it. Pine cones are over here. Okay, a baguette and a bone. Is that a bone? Yes, that is a still has meat on it bone. Ah, there we go. I've decided that some, ah, but see, there, there's a thing about that. The thing is that bread from any country is good. Everything else is subject to approval, but all bread is good. Uh, let's see, yes, this is a new room. Not baguettes, baguettes are delicious. <laughs> it's French. There's a lot of bread that's French. And I am totally okay with that because I enjoy... Oh, there's a skull. I wasn't looking in here at all. I enjoy all breads equally. Flower sifter. Baseball. I also enjoy French sauces. Because they are also delicious. Food in general is, is okay, as far as I'm concerned. We need more food from different places because it's delicious. What was that? That was an orange. 
All right, whatever you say. Uh, let's see, headphones, pepper, and a brush. <laughs> Shut up, her tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I doing? Butterfly? Wait, there's a butterfly. Headphones. A pepper and a brush. Oh, there's the brush. So a pepper or headphones. Peppers are usually pretty easy to find. Unless it's in this black and white section. Because I haven't been looking at it at all. There's a bug. Oh, there's a headphones. Beyond French demons. <laughs> oh, I don't think we've been in here either. Uh, no, we have been in here once. But only once. A magistrate. That's different in a viking helmet which actual vikings didn't have horns on their helmets mushrooms mushrooms are licious meow a paper boat a wooden candelabra that's two candles not a candelabra yes yeah, there's a kitty there's an actual kitty well a pretend actual kitty oh there's some mushrooms a paper boat and a lion. And another scorpion! Ooh, and a stack of books. That's not a stack of books. That's a stack of books. I saw the banana. Alright, a paper boat and a lion. And a skeleton in a mask. Ooh, there's a lion. Bill? Yes! Hello, my name is Bill. Game room! Bill, 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 Bill. You guys are weird. Pointer. Two padlocks. I'm surprised there aren't more, like, random locks around the place than Bill Nye the Science Guy. No, I think that's a different show. A dart. A bottle opener. Where's a skull? There it is. A harp. A hand grenade. There's hand grenades, too. Why? We don't know. I saw the pipe. Where is it? Two padlocks, a bottle, bottle opener, and a pipe. Two padlocks, a bottle opener, and a pipe. My brain stopped functioning for a moment. Two padlocks. I haven't seen either padlock. Bottle opener and a pipe. <laughs> I think Kitty's mad that the maid hasn't dusted. There's a lock. And there's a pipe. I wasn't looking right here. Another padlock or a bottle opener. Yeah, that's an angry kitty. Like that. That means they're not happy. Somebody is being, is doing something kitty doesn't like. And kitty is going to let all of us know about it. Why can't I find anything? A padlock and a bottle opener. Does anyone see anything where that sparkle was? No, me neither. Okay, next room then. That was weird. The nursery! Uh-oh. Oh, what? Okay, so we have a bug. Okay. And a bird. And a lizard. And a dog? Is that a sheep? Okay, we press a button. A ladybug, a bird, and a football. Oh no! There's a bird! Wait, yes it is. Oh, do I need the ladybug first? Ladybug? And a bird. And a football. Oh no! Where's the football? There it is. Ah! I almost made it! Oh wait, I did make it. Never mind. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing. A baseball. A banana. A lifesaver. And a shoe. A baseball. Ball, a banana, a lifesaver, and a shoe. Good. 
Okay. Oh boy, now we get to five. Chicken. Megaphone. Gear. Block. Lock. Chicken. Megaphone. Gear. Block. Oh no, what was the last thing? It was a lock. Yay! Okay, so I guess sheep. Dog. Turtle. Bird. And snake. Okay. That was different. Whoa, this is the nursery? Holy moly. No. Absolutely not. This is very wow. Wow. Huh. Well. No, absolutely not. I mean, we already knew that as he's poisoning a woman that he forced to marry him without her actually knowing it. So definitely should not be near children, but this is just seals the deal. All right, where's the mallard? There's an octopus. He's cute. This is not okay, though. Whatever is this is going on here. There's a frog. I like frogs, but alive frogs probably shouldn't be in a baby's room. Probably. Oh, the widow's walk. I forgot about this. It's even messy outside his house. All right, let's see. Tomato. Mushrooms. I remember seeing the hourglass. An orange slice, which I also remember seeing. Yes. Yep, the medical symbol. Vice grips. Hmm. Oh, there's the hourglass. Uh, a clamp and a caterpillar. Where's the caterpillar? Caterpillars are cute. And a goose. Is that a goose? Yes, it is. Okay. Orange slices, vice grips, a clamp, and a caterpillar. There's the orange slice. I knew I remembered seeing it. There's the caterpillar. It's a woolly bear. Woolly bears are awesome. All right. Vice grip and a clamp. Oh, there's the vice grips. So now, if I can just find a clamp, we can be done with this level. The thing you hate? Why do you hate that? A potato. I'm not looking for a potato. Oh, there's the clamp. I mean, yes, that's a C clamp. All right, let's go back to the pantry. Binoculars and an arrowhead. This is not the binoculars. It is, I clicked on that last time I was here. You jerk game. Fine, where's the arrowhead then? You are all weirdos. Middle, up. Oh, there it is. It wasn't quite pointy enough for my brain to notice it. It was an arrowhead. Let's do the theater. All right, we're looking for a pepper, which is weird we didn't find because usually peppers are easy to find. I didn't say you weren't cool. I just said you were weird. Not the same thing. A strawberry. Is it in here somewhere? That would be mean. A weird gnome dude. Oh, oh, I found it. It's green, not red. That's why I couldn't find it. Oh boy. So I guess uh, she's ratting out Charles, which is good. I don't think this is going to end well for at least one of them. That certainly does go there, doesn't it? I don't know what goes there. Hey! Wait, wait, sorry. Whose grave are you dancing on? Otz, oh, why are you dancing on her grave? <laughs> That's not very nice. Ay, ay, ay. You misspelled a word. Well, that's what you deserve then, I guess. I'm confused. There we go. All right, there we go. Ah, 
Oh, what can I say? Oh, man. This story is not going to end well. I don't know why they didn't leave already, honestly. If she was afraid for her life. But yet, one or both of these women is not going to survive this storyline. I am afraid. Entry 18, August 5th, 1895. We must flee. Is Charles trying to murder me? Am I absurd to ask myself such a question? I have felt so incredibly terrible, and I'm rarely sure if I'm awake or dreaming any longer. Can I trust myself? Rose believes she's correct. She says he has been keeping me here by making me sick. Charles has slowly fallen into his own delusional sickness. How could I have trusted him? We must leave. It's very clear his madness will take our lives if we stay. Escape from this cursed home where I have known nothing but illness and fear. Charles will kill us if we do not flee this place at once. <laughs> There's a taxidermy room. Have we been in here before? Okay, if we haven't been in here before, then this room impressed me enough that I remember it from last time I played. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I just remember it from the last, which was probably 10 years ago. Because this is a thing. No, no, it's possible that this is, like, there's a groundhog, ostrich, hawk mix thing. Is it tiger or a... Lion on a poodle with marshmallow in his ear. Like, this is all kinds of crazy. No, you know what? We have been here before. I actually remember the rose in the wallpaper for some reason. There's a marshmallow. But yeah, this room is something else. I love the squirrels up here. All kinds of bizarre. All right, where's the stethoscope? I heard a lion. Right in front, again. Go to bed, Locke! Oh my gosh! Heaven's sakes! That is much too late to be awake. Make you... <laughs> You're gonna be tired in the morning. Like, very, very tired. That's supposed to be a geisha? Bizarre. Rooster. Actually, that looks more like a chicken, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but you should probably be awake, like, in the morning, or at least in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. But still, it's not healthy to stay awake that late. Daylight is overrated. Speaking of which, this month is Daylight Savings. Everyone say, yay! My least favorite time of year. That is 100% a lantern. Don't you even go there. <sighs> no, wait, does Scotland not have Daylight Savings? I know England does. Pickle, pickle, pickle. That's not a scooter. Oh yeah, but it's only like two weeks later. It's both It's both this month. I know because I put it on my calendar today and then I was going on to the next weeks and then I noticed that there was another daylight savings and I got really worried. <laughs> no, we cannot agree on anything at all. Zero things. I would especially love it if we could agree that daylight savings is freaking stupid. I would like that a lot. No, daylight savings zero. That is how much we need daylight savings. Zero daylight savings. It's stupid and I hate it. And yeah. That's pretty much where I stand on the issue. Let's see. Did -de 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 -de. All right, a pretzel, a hat. Stop! A hat, and an apple, and a pear. And wait, there's an apple. And a shaker. That's specific. And a steak, which is right there. 
an eggplant, and a clarinet. Yep, over here. All right, a pretzel. I know I saw the pretzel here, here before. What's a shaker? Pretzel, 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 pretzel. I don't see the pretzel. That's weird. I remember the pretzel being on this level. Hmm. All right. Oh, you know what? It's an hour and 40. Let's do this lock. And then I think we'll be done for the moment. Oh boy, we got a weird one. All right, let's see. I'm actually going to go to bed now. Okay, have fun. It worked. <laughs> Ew. Bread. <laughs> it was an independent decision. Um, here forever? Is that what that lady said? Okay. Whoa! Three and a half. Okay. Well, there's the three. Three and a half. Oh, this needs a battery. All right. Oh, there's, oh, there's a battery. Huh. These are all different patterns. Night, night. <laughs> See you later. What if I shoot the apple? Aha. So pound percent sideways carrot. Enter. Okay. I think the chicken's supposed to eat something, though. Um... Oh, three and a half! Now, what is that? That is a moon. No, that's not right. Okay. How do I reset? No, okay. The birdie didn't like that. So we need two moons. One. Two. And one. I guess that's a spade. One spade. And probably one diamond. And now we kick the chicken, and it eats the food, and an egg! Do I have to do that again? Probably. Alright. Two moons, one, two, one spade, and one diamond. Oops, I didn't actually feed the chicken. Let's try that again! Hmm, it didn't lay another egg. Maybe I didn't need another egg? Huh. This has got to be these patterns, right? Oh, there's that one. That one is this one. Okay. Oh, and this one's this one. Where's the pink stripes? Is that that one? I guess. Now we just have to figure it out what this one is, since for some reason it's not letting me hatch another egg, unless I did it wrong, which is always possible. Wait, where was that blue? Let's try that one. Hmm, do we... Oh, wait, there's another code over here. I guess the second egg has to be a different code. All right. It's fair, I guess. One, two, three. And then we have diamonds. One, two, and then two. One, two. And we feed the chicken. And we kick the chicken. And it eats the food and lays an egg. Ha! I was right! I'm right. I was 100% right on which color it was. It was this one. Oh, okay. I guess I had to have all the eggs there first. There's a baby seal! What room is this? I wasn't paying attention, but oh my gosh. All right. Oh, we're stopping though, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Menu! All right. Quit. Ta-da! 
Okay. Stopping for the night. Oh, I can push my monitor back. Oh, I'm going to be very happy when these get a lot bigger because they are small right now. That one was bigger than the, last, the first two, but it's still like probably, like I said, a quarter the size of my actual screen. So, all right, that was fun. And next time we will do mystery trackers and then Grim Tales. And then we're back to mystery case files. And I think we're going to do, I didn't say this before, but I think we're going to do a stream on St. Patrick's Day. And it will be a Irish slash leprechaun themed game. I'm 100% I own one that is very weird, but I can't remember what it is. So I can't tell you, but just know that that's a thing that's going to happen. <laughs> So I guess we will be done for the night. If you had fun, come back and do this again with us sometime. <laughs> I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you all later. Bye!